the publisher of this channel, searched for affordable beachfront rentals in Central and South America after rents doubled in Puerto Vallarta and went up considerably in Acapulco. <laughs> She found 4,600 miles of coastline with affordable oceanfront rentals. The further the property is from a major city, the cheaper the rent. No, Brazil is not the ideal relocation destination for Americans. However, more and more Europeans are moving to Brazil and with good reason. There are zero to few hurricanes, the weather is great and the cost of living is low. Rent in Brazil, on average, is 79% lower than in Miami and 85% cheaper than in New York City. The cost for a single person in the surrounding areas of Sao Paulo, the largest city in the Northern Hemisphere, is $596 a month, not including rent. This includes food, transportation, utilities, and entertainment. When you know where you want to live, or the amount you are comfortable with spending each month, then you have your monthly cost of living. The locals in the Sao Paulo area earn around $450 a month, or 2,370.93 Brazilian reals, after taxes. So this gives you an idea of the cost of living for over 22 million people. Again, Brazil is not the ideal relocation for Americans. However, if you love the sea and your retirement income is fixed, you can catch flights out of Miami and be in Brazil in 8 hours for around $700 round trip. You must have a departure ticket before most airlines fly you into the country. Problem number 1. You do not speak Portuguese. No problem. The language school is one of the places you meet new people. Plus. Google's offline translator makes traveling to any country easier. The second major concern for Americans traveling the world slowly, especially solo travelers, is safety. As in most countries, safety means adding more to the rent to book yourself into a high-end neighborhood or community. Example. Adding $100 a month to a $550 rent budget means spending up to $650 including utilities for rent. Doable but less money for entertainment, sightseeing, and tours. But worth it when you watch the sun come up over the ocean each morning and have a view of the sea 24-7. This makes working online not only easier but enjoyable. There are many different communities along the Brazilian coastline with affordable beachfront rentals for $600 a month. Now if you want to understand how to get the rent lowered to this price when the nightly rate is $59 a night, check out the channel's free ebook, How to Retire and Travel Cheap, Warm, and Safe. The ebook explains how the publisher of this channel travels the world on a $1,400 to $1,600 a month budget. Sure, you may have more retirement income, but why spend it? The other positive factors include buying condos or apartments in beachfront communities for around $85,000. With the digital nomad trend growing, these places are often booked 15 days out of the month when you purchase as rental income. The fourth concern was finding like-minded people in Brazil who speak English. This is easy. The ebook tells you how and where to meet new people who speak English. But here's the deal. There was another source of support for traveling to Brazil. When Sandy was in Miami for a couple days, on her way to the Dominican Republic, one of the taxi drivers explained that many people born and raised in Miami were moving to Brazil to retire. The taxi cab driver's information proved to be correct.